Caterpillar 834 wheel dozer was introduced in 1963 and was a machine weighing around 40 tonnes. Classic construction models have produced this version of it in their favoured scale of 1 to 48. The packaging is high quality, it's wrapped and enclosed in an outer shipping carton and when you lift the lid the model sits wrapped in tissue in a polystyrene tray. The packaging includes no information on the real machine and there's nothing about the model either. However, there's no assembly to do as the model is complete out of the box, but you need to handle it with just a little bit of care as some of the parts are delicate. For the detail we'll start by looking underneath and for the most part it's pretty good with the rear differential having some good bolt details. The tyres are nice and chunky and made of rubber and the radiator at the rear is finely perforated and there are silvered lights. The exposed engine is particularly good, it is plastic but there's very good detail of the various components. Up on top around the operator's seat there are some good metal handrails, although perhaps the levers and steering wheel look slightly large for the scale. The articulated joint doesn't have any hydraulic hoses passing across it but it looks good enough. A particularly strong area is the front axle with the cast counterweight slabs and the good detail around the hydraulic cylinder. The blade looks good with the unusual cat emblem on the top and there's good anti-wear plates along the bottom edge. We turn now to the features of the model and if we start with the rolling test it rolls very well. It's almost the sports car of wheel dozers. It's such a smooth ride. And if we look underneath each of the wheels uh, turns independently and um, with very good bearings so they really whiz along when you uh, flick them with your finger. The rear axle is fully floating with uh, lots of movement and the wheel arches also go up and down so if the wheel was to hit them it forces the wheel arch upwards. Steering is by means of the articulated joint at the centre of the machine and you can get an angle of about 30 degrees to normal. When the steering is set to maximum the model rolls just fine and there's no issue with the tyres being fouled by any parts. At the front the dozer blade can be raised and lowered. It's a fairly stiff mechanism but uh, that means it can hold any pose that you want to set. And there's also a very good range of forward tilt movement on the blade. In summary CCM have done a very good job with the Caterpillar 834. It's reasonably priced and high quality and if you like this kind of machine it's highly recommended. Yeah.